the government's housing for all a new housing plan for Ireland sets out how it intends to achieve an ambitious target of over 300,000 new homes by 2030. The planning system has often been blamed as a reason for holding up uh, new housing development proposals and the government's uh, new plan looks at um, changing various stages of the uh, planning process. Overall, this includes um, new um, housing zones, termed urban development zones, um, replacing strategic housing um, development arrangements with arrangements for uh, large scale residential developments and altering the planning code and judicial review um, systems. Overall, the government's looking to ensure that um, housing moves more quickly from concept to completion. Starting with the earlier stage of the planning uh, process development plans, the government has uh, specified targets to local authorities that they, that they need to achieve. And, uh, <clears throat> they have to do this by ensuring they allocate sufficient land for housing and services uh, within their development plans. Um, if the local authorities have land that has uh, significant regeneration and housing um, uh, capacity, then these uh, should be zoned um, as urban development zones. Um, the once zoned, this means they can be fast tracked through the planning system. And there are also other mechanisms such as land value sharing um, and new CPO powers. These, um, the, the zoning should um, be identified at the master planning stage following public engagement. Uh, moving on from the development plan stage to planning applications, the government is doing away with the arrangements for street, uh, strategic housing developments and introducing new arrangements for large scale uh, residential developments. These are for developments with over 100 homes or more or for student accommodation with 200 bed spaces or more. Um, the um, government is going to change um, the decision-making uh, authority so that it, it, the first stage, it will now be local planning authorities rather than onboard planola. And the hope is that this will um, give rise to more public engagement earlier on in the planning application um, process. There is an initial eight week um, uh, pre-application consultation stage where, where at the end of that, the local authority has to um, decide whether the planning application has a reasonable prospect of success. Once it's got through this stage, uh, the local authority has another eight weeks to determine whether the application should be granted or not. Um, if it's appealed, onboard Planola generally has 16 weeks as well to determine that appeal, and there is limited scope for further information requests from both the local authority or um, onboard Planola. So if uh, a planning application is granted and we move forward to the permission stage, um, the government's also looking to make changes to the um, judicial review system so that less, uh, so that fewer permissions end up in the courts. Um, to do this, uh, the government hasn't provided much detail at this stage, but there's an overall aim that uh, judicial review uh, system will focus on more um, substantive rather than administrative um, errors. So although um, the government hasn't set out exactly what this means, it may mean that um, it focuses on less, um, less on technical breaches rather than actual fundamental legal errors made by a local authority or, or onboard Planola. Um, the government's also looking to ensure that the public are given the tools to engage with the planning application, um, with the whole planning process by establishing a stakeholder advisory forum um, the government's also looking to make sure that the local authority on board Panola are properly equipped to make the correct decisions by giving them um, tools and guidance and by also ensuring that an e-planning system is rolled out to all local authorities by the end of 2022. Um, overall, the government has recognised that there is a balance between um, the needs and the, the benefits of new housing versus uh, the views of local um, communities. The government's main aim is to bring forward the major debate on um, the, uh, whether a planning application should be granted to the plan making stage rather than later on 
from the process to the planning application or, or even the actual um, a, a judicial review um, stage. The government is hoping that this will provide developers with certainty that once their proposals um, are zoned as housing, that it will move more quickly um, from concept to um, completion and to a permission that's safe from challenge. Um, although it remains to be seen whether this will happen in practice because um, we're yet to see much of the, the detail and um, it, it will um, need to be um, seen in terms of practical implications, what might actually hold up um, further planning permissions or planning applications once they start to go through these new processes.